basics for my Canadian wolf slash deer hunt. Um, it's about eight thirty or so, maybe nine o'clock. We had a, a small eight come in already. Um, just no brow tines. Even if we did have brow tines, I, I wouldn't have shot them. Um, I'm back here on the Bambi. Um, just uh, hoping to see that eight point. If I see that eight point that I saw the other day, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take on these. But the more I look at the pictures and videos and trail cam pictures, he is just a beast um, as far as the antlers. Um, super tall, eight point, just a beautiful, beautiful buck. Um, there is another um, uh, eight or nine point with a split brow that comes to this spot. So if he shows up, I'll take him too. Um, so that's day six. I have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So four days after today. Um, tomorrow, Saturday, I will be all by myself. Um, all the other hunters are leaving tomorrow. In fact, two of the four are leaving today. Uh, they both tagged out yesterday with really nice bucks. Uh, one ten point and one massive eight point. Just beautiful, beautiful buck. Uh, dark chocolate and thick, thick rack. Um, both deer weighed in the 270s. Um, that's before field dress, but still very, very respectable big bucks. Um, so congratulations out to those guys from South Dakota. Um, they are leaving today. Tomorrow the other two hunters will be leaving, going to the airport, and I will be by myself. So I haven't really thought much about tomorrow because I kind of figure I'll be done today. Oh yeah, I'm getting me a buck. Just looking out the blind here, it's the first time I've seen the sun pretty much the whole since the whole time I've been here. Nice cool morning, and it's going to be about 35 for a high, so kind of on the warm side. Um, but I believe the rut is starting to pick up some up here, so hopefully see some good action. Like I said, had a first buck on on, on the pile already this morning, so. See what happens. Uh, that's all I got. shot a buck. Uh, there's a doe and I believe a fawn came in. They spooked and I knew when they spooked to grab my rifle. That buck walked in. I had zero time to look at him other than he was a nice buck. He's not the big eight that I was after. Um, I think it's a 9 or a 10 point. So, um, I'm going to give it a few minutes. He reared up, like straight up in the air, like a heart shot. Um, like I said, it happened so fast. I'm just going to give it a few minutes. Didn't even have time to didn't even have time to uh, look at the buck very much um, I saw him come in I was afraid he's gonna chase off with those does 
So I made a quick, quick decision to pull the trigger. He, he hesitated and I shot. Uh, you'll see in the video, he reared straight up in the air. Those are usually hard shots, I believe. So, um, so yeah, take six. I knew, I knew I had a feeling I was going to put one down today. Um, so that would be the fourth. He would be the fourth deer that came in. Um, as I'm talking, I have a doe back on that bay pile. So I'm going to, like I said, just give it a few minutes here and go see what I got. I'll take you guys with me, of course. Check in in a bit. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to go take a look. Uh, I'm pretty sure that buck is down. I'm going to, I had to wait a while. Deer keep coming out to the bait. Um nice crab claw 10 point with a sp split brow came out after I shot the one so um, of course he's gonna come out and tease me but I'm gonna head over uh, take you guys with me let's see if we can find some sign and I'm pretty sure the deer's down uh, not too far past where I last saw him so come on I gotta put my gloves on here so hold tight see in the video um, I was recording the, the doe and fawn that were on the pile they spooked and I knew something was coming and as, soon as I was grabbing for my rifle to be sure you know be ready that buck stepped out and I had to make a quick choice because I knew I knew he wouldn't stick around you chase those doves wherever they went. So, oh yeah, there's a heavy used trail that they come in on. Um, hopefully, I can find blood right away. Oh yeah, he's right there. No blood, but he went down exactly where I thought he went. Yes! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! I don't see a speck of blood anywhere. Oh, he's a nice looking deer. He's a 10 point. 10 point with, oh, he's got a split G2. That is fucking cool. That is freaking cool. There is not a speck of blood. Um, up until he gets over here. Look at this, guys. Hell yeah. Split G2. I don't think I've seen pictures of that one either. Um, I'm going to get him out of here. 
Oh, that is a pretty deer. I am freaking pumped. Hell yeah. So that would make an 11 point. I have never shot an 11 point buck. This is my first 11 pointer, guys. Let me get him out of here. And I'm going to get him on. Get him out of here. Get some good pictures. Oh, uh, seriously, I was worried there for a split second. Um, there was not a speck of blood. I mean, he didn't go 30 yards, I think, from the from where I shot. Oh, yeah, I'm looking. It's 10 yards, 10, 15 yards. All right, guys, let me let me get him out of here. Get some good pictures for you. Lumberjack out.